Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I am Kyle the Crystalline Mage. It is 9am Sunday morning in Perth, so it's time for weekly oracle readings. We are today working with the beautiful Angel Dreams oracle cards. One of my favourite decks to work with that I use for my readings and I'm excited to see what they have to say and what they will tell us today. I hope we are all doing well this morning. I hope you are all enjoying your weekend, whatever time of the day, night, morning, afternoon, wherever it is for you. I hope you are well. Just going to wait a couple of minutes for everyone to roll in as per usual. Morning, morning, morning. Good morning. How are we? I hope we are all doing really well. It's weekly oracle readings. I will be pulling one card for every day of the week. I'll be pairing those with crystals. I'll give you an overview card for a bit of extra guidance. And we will see what the week has to say. Oh, it was amazing. It really was beautiful. It was so much fun. It was... Yeah, it was a ball. It really was. Thanks. Weirdly enough, this tie-dye shirt is an Adidas shirt. <laughs> Where's the thing? Where's the tag? But I saw it and I was like, yeah. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. I hope we're all well. It is Sunday morning for me. It might be Saturday night for you, it might be 3 o'clock in the morning, it might be the afternoon if you're in New Zealand. I hope you're all well, or if you're watching this back, that's all good. How are you? Oh, that's fair enough. It was amazing. It really was amazing. Me too. Next Monday's going to be epic. Very excited about that. Very excited indeed. It's a exciting week because we have the um, spring equinox on Friday, so that's quite nice. Um, for those in the northern hemisphere, it will be the autumn equinox. Hello, hello. Ready for bed, Carly. Oh, goodness. You sleep away the day if you need to. I actually managed to get a decent night's sleep last night. I was tired enough after it all. Hello. Hi, Facebookers. Hi, Instagrammers. Hello, anyone watching this back on YouTube. For those that have never seen one of these or never joined in on one of these before, this is Weekly Oracle Readings. I'll be pulling one card for every day of the week with the Angel Dreams Oracle cards. Um, I will be pairing each day of the week and each card with a bit of guidance with some crystals. I pull an overview card as a final card for a little bit of an overview for the whole week. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's one of those impulse, this is the color I'm gonna pick at the time situations. I forgot how relaxing it is to go get a manicure. I'm going to make it a much more regular thing. So I expect to see some more pretty nails more regularly. You know me, I've got to shuffle these. I've got to get them good and shuffled so that they're ready for the collective. This is for everyone watching. If you want to bring some friends in, tag some friends and get them to join in or share it, feel free. The more the merrier. Today is Sunday, the 19th of September. We are at the, yeah, exactly. We're at the end of Virgo season and we're heading into Libra, which is quite exciting. Um, but we do have Mercury going retrograde next week, so just be aware. I'll talk about that in next Sunday's reading because that is a couple of days after that actually happens. So this week it's the equinox, which we're very excited about. So here in the Southern Hemisphere, the spring equinox is that time where day and night is equal length 
and we are moving forward into the summer period where it's all getting lighter and brighter so it's all about growth it's all about moving forward picking up speed and momentum um, for those in the northern hemisphere it's basically the opposite because it's now the time where things are changing and you're heading towards winter so it's more about harvesting preparation and getting things ready for hibernation Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Sunday to you all. I hope you are well. Just a little bit more shuffling and then we will be ready for the reading proper. Just let me know how you're going and where you're at. I love to know where people are. I love to know how you're feeling. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. Oh, good. good. I've been having fun making them. They're so silly. I like to be silly, so I'm glad they're being received. Hello, all the Perth people. Hello, people everywhere else around the world. We're nearly ready. Nearly ready. Yep, see? Nearly ready. Calm down. Calm down. <laughs> These nails cost me 25 bucks. Bargain. <laughs> Bargain. Hello, hello. Oh my goodness. Just a little bit more. They're obviously still a bit jumpy. I use these very regularly for my readings, so we need to get them tuned in for everyone. Oh, aren't they stunning? Those, I got two of them. <laughs> Haley, I had to. All right, so today is Sunday. The... 19th of September this week we will roll forward to the 25th so we are going from Virgo into Libra taking our energy from earth into air today is Sunday the 19th of September I'll be pulling one card for every day of the week and then an overview are we ready our first card for the week our card for today Sunday is Oh my gosh, is that not a perfect card for a Sunday? The daydream. We get to imagine, we get to think about possibilities, we get to let our mind wander. It says, imagination, allow your mind to wander and quiet time. So this is a really beautiful card for a Sunday, a really great way to start the week. And this is also for me, kind of where... Um, Virgo and Libra can meet um, because there are elements of dreamers in both of them um, and I find this is a really nice card to sort of start getting us in the mood to be thinking a bit more using our mind a little bit more not necessarily for being logical but for dreaming about big amazing things if you are in the northern hemisphere be dreaming about the quieter months the colder months what we need to be doing what your plan is and then what's happening next year um, and for us in the southern hemisphere Think about how we're going to grow and move forward and shift our energy into the summer months. This is also a really nice sort of bit of permission to chill the f out, relax and take some time for you. Don't push yourself too much today. Today, Don't feel like you need to do too much today. Those of us that worked last night, we can take it easy. It's a chance to like use Sunday for a Sunday. Does that make sense, everyone? It's, <coughs> we get too caught up in life. We get too caught up in doing the things. Um, and we really need to chill out, take our time, relax, and just give ourselves space. This is something that actually came up in a lot of readings last night, was being able to hold space for yourself and being able to create that space for yourself, for your partner, um, so that you can grow and evolve and... See where you need to be. We need to get out of the doldrums, get out of the heaviness, get out of the past and allow our mind to sort of take us where we need to go and show us the way, but we need to give it space to do so. We need to chill out, we need to relax, we need to find a way to... <sighs> and then we find that clarity. It's an amazing thing. An amazing thing. So this is a really beautiful uh, card of permission today. A card of just letting you do your thing. Feel relaxed. 
chill out, daydream, and let your mind wander. Oh my goodness, I love it, I love it. There's a really beautiful song called Time to Wander by Gypsy and the Cat, and that's what I'm hearing in my head. And it's such a great um, tune to go with. For me, that song is very, like, spring and summer, like it's that sort of shift into the warmer energy, it's time to wander, it's time to sort of, like, the full card feels very, very prominent in tarot, like, looking into the future, naked, fucking whatever, right? This is great, I'm excited, this is a wonderful card for Sunday. Crystal wise, Herkimer Diamond! Herkimer Diamond is the crystal of dreams, so please work with Herkimer Diamond. I would recommend Dambyrite, Scholocyte, Selenite, Amethyst, Chevron Amethyst, I would recommend Angel or a Quartz, Celestite, Angelite, I would recommend Purple Fluorite, um, I would recommend Charawite if you have Super 7, um, I'm getting a really strong vibe for Violet Flame Opal, if you happen to be that way inclined. Um, this is very much higher chakras, crown and above, really opening one up to the possibilities of what's out there. This is kind of not a day to have your feet in the ground. This is a day to float. I love it. I love it. Get outside in nature. This image is really beautiful. Like, get outside in nature and let yourself relax in that way. Um, This is another collective message, and this is something that came up um, a little bit last night, is, like, <laughs> there's always going to be the shit. Like, that's always going to be there. So if you don't pay it attention for a little while, it's not going to go anywhere. You can come back to it later. It's still going to be shit. It's still going to be over there. But you know what? Right now, don't worry about the shit. <laughs> don't worry about the crap. Don't give it mind. Don't give it time. Today, Sunday... Don't worry about it. Like, you can deal with it tomorrow, deal with it the next day. Like, it's this is like, leave the heavy jobs for another day and really let yourself relax today. Please and thank you, and you have permission from me and the universe. So, yeah, definitely get those higher, relax, calm the mind, get yourself up and out, dreamy crystals for sure. Oh, leopard light also feels like a nice option today. Um... I'm excited. That's beautiful. All right. So tomorrow, Monday the 20th, we're rolling forward our card of the day. Oh, hello. Selenite. Spiritual activation and stimulation. This is a very, very, very nice energy. This is really taking today and carrying it forward. This is, again, not necessarily about logic. This is about what are your vibes telling you what's your spirit telling you what's your gut and what's your intuition saying selenite is the stone of spiritual purification and cleansing femininity divine femininity that idea of connecting to the moon and the cycles and all of that beauty that comes with it this is a really great great card for helping you to look at your own cycles of life and knowing that whatever is coming forward is now necessary to move forward into and it's time to let the past be the past spiritual activation it's you on your spiritual path you following what your spirit wants to do what it's telling you to do it's like finally you're listening and you're not over analyzing you're not forcing the human on the spirit it's not what you do. You let your spirit guide what the body wants, what the physical body wants and needs. Work with selenite, please and thank you. Let yourself be receptive to ideas. Let yourself be in the feminine, in the allowing, in the intuitive, instead of, again, in the masculine, the logical, the active, the all of that sort of stuff. Tomorrow, is it? I have no idea. Can someone please confirm me that? Is tomorrow the full moon? I honestly don't know. <laughs> I've no idea this week, sorry. Anyone out there in the in the world, if you could tell me, that would be great. Um, so tomorrow with Selenite, bear with me. Tuesday morning. 
Well, how perfect is that? So if it's Tuesday morning for us, it's actually going to be Monday for those in like Europe and North America and, and the Americas. So that's quite interesting. So our next card is also going to be really interesting as well. Thank you, everyone. I appreciate all of you people out there uh, for helping me out. Usually I'm better at this. One day, 22 hours. Beautiful. We love specifics. Um, so this is really, really wonderful, like full moon preparation. If you don't have time um, or uh, make time on Monday night to do your spiritual work, to do your cleansing, to do your release, to do your full moon work, because it's going to be um, the same sort of fullness on Monday night that it would be on Tuesday night. So you can sort of use either, which I really love around the full moon, 24 hours either side. Happy days. Um, this is awesome. I love it. The cards don't lie. The cards always know. Always. I love it. They knew and I didn't even know what's going on. So think about also what you're letting go of this full moon. What you're releasing. What is culminating. What is reaching totality in this cycle. And what you need to let go. Um, very nice. Very nice. I would recommend obviously working with selenite. Um, but if you also need to work with other cleansing energies, I would recommend celestite. I would recommend um, obsidian to cut and release and let go in that way. If you need to work with a stronger energy. Um, and peacock ore. Peacock ore is actually a really wonderful stone for cleansing space. Um, hello. Okay. That was Monday. So the full moon, Tuesday, our card is, and that's also the first day of, wow, Libra season. <laughs> Isn't this interesting? It's the throat chakra. It is blue energy. It is communication and it is inner truth. And it is also expression. This is a very important um difference in energy if we think about what truth means what communication means and then what expression means they are three very different things that overlap does that make sense so truth is you know it is your truth it is what it is right speaking and communication you can speak that truth but you can also lie so it doesn't always equal the same thing but they do overlap and expression we express ourselves through communication but we also express ourselves through how we dress getting our nails done how we physically interact with people how we choose to talk or not talk it's all about how we express ourselves and this as a full moon card as a changing of the seasons card <coughs> like this is big. This is what it's all about. This is time to speak up, time to say what you need to say, speak your truth, let it go, release, talk, express, express your truth, live it. Actions speak louder than words. So it's not always about speaking. How do you express yourselves? This is something quite important is Libras can be quite, um, they can be talkative, but then they can also be very, very observant. And they express themselves through how they observe other people, right? Because they're always trying to find that middle ground, that equality, that balance. So this is not always about talking. Sometimes it's about shutting up and listening. Because people don't always say what they mean. And you have to read between the lines and listen between the lines. This is... Your truth and others' truths are often very different. And it's up to you to communicate what you want and communicate what you desire and communicate what you need. Excellent. We love that confirmation from a Libra. And thank you very much. We, we all need to now, as we shift into that season, take on that balance, take on that equality, take on that idea of finding what is right for everyone by doing what is right for us. Thank you very much. I thank you, gorgeous human. I love you, and I can't wait to see you again, to be honest. Yeah, you, I love you. Um, we do digress. <laughs> Stop distracting me with compliments. How dare you all? <laughs> so express yourself, speak your truth, 
live your truth, own your truth. And when you express yourself fully and you are yourself, then you are received by the world in a way that is open and loving because authenticity is everything. It's something I've, le- I've had to learn through this process. You know, I thought I was authentic before, but every day I become even more authentic and even more truthful and even more myself. And I'm blessed to be on this path and blessed to have beautiful humans like all of you with me on this journey. Okay, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, that was the full moon. Let yourself work with Aquamarine, let yourself work with Larimar, let yourself work with Blue Appetite, let yourself work with Celestite and Angelite, please work with Amazonite, anything that's going to help you to connect to your throat chakra, help you to express, to let go of what you need to let go of, to say what you need to say, hello, good morning, to speak what you need to and express what you need to. Um, Definitely Blue Appetite is a vibe that I'm feeling. But any shade of blue that you have, that you are working with, that you have crystal wise at home is good. Like it's all good. Right. And really like be vulnerable, even if it's by yourself to the moon and to no one else, like cry and let it out, be frustrated, really express all of what you're feeling. So the universe can hear it and deal with what needs to be done. Do not internalize. It's not healthy. Okay, we are rolling forward. Now we're well into Libra season. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, our card is... (sighs) Seriously, all the tingles down the back of my neck with the violet card. It is our spirituality. It is the crown chakra. It is wisdom and humility. It is the lotus on the top of the head opening up to the universe. This is incredible. Through our like daydreaming, spiritual cleansing, expressing our truth, we reach this stage of spirituality, this step next of leveling up. Let's say leveling up. This is what this is. Ah, don't you love that? Yeah, the natal charts can make so much sense of things. Good morning. This is our Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday card. This is the post full moon card. This is, this is amazing. Like the work that we do and that we have been doing is paying dividends. We are creating that space to move forward in our own way that is right for us, that is right for the universe. This is not about what is logical. This is what is spiritually right. Um, this, this image, the lotuses, the crown chakra, the translation of the um, Sanskrit word means uh, 10,000 petals. Um, so the crown chakra is representative of all of those petals spreading out into the world and connecting to and bringing in and sending out information and divinity and magic and all of that good stuff. This is our divinity. This is our spirituality. This is us leveling up, expanding, moving forward. This is so beautiful. Spirituality, wisdom, and humility. We love that. This is really learning, learning on our spiritual path understanding why we've gone through what we've gone through. It's not about being a victim. It's not about you've done anything wrong. It's about this is the lesson that you need to learn. Have you learned the lesson? Very good. Move on, right? It's not about um, the universe personally attacking you. It's more about the universe saying, have you learned this lesson yet? Have you really learned it? Like, really? So this is like, you have learned the lessons, you've been learning them, you've been taking them on, you've been understanding them, and now you can express yourself more spiritually. And it's hard work to get there. It takes a lot. Trust and belief. I understand that. So this is so good. This is like reward. This is confirmation. This is yath. Um, All the good. I love it. Think about um, really high vibration crown energy again that we've been working with for most of the week. Again, selenite. Dambiorite, 
You can think about Violet Flame Opal. I talked about that earlier. Um, good Amethyst, Veracruz Amethyst, Lapidolite. Um, trying to think, but my mind's gone blank. Chevron Amethyst, Charoite. You could work with um, a multitude of things. Think about Lilac. Think about Amethyst purples. Think about whites and all of those crown energies. Oh, thank you all very much. And yes, the earth certainly does give us all lessons. That's the whole point. The school of life is very much that. So this is about learning those lessons, understanding and allowing yourself to grow. I would also recommend looking into and working with lotus energy if you haven't before. All right, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Very good. So Thursday, the 23rd. Our next card is... Ooh, isn't this wonderful? This is so much confirmation. This is so much clarity. Like, these cards are clear as day, and I am living for it. The past life card, gifts and review. This is stuff that has not just a representation and connection to actual past lives, but this is also in this life, your past life. What have you been doing to get you to this point? What have you been doing to get you here? And how are you moving forward? How are you rewarding yourself for the work that you have done? And by not just you rewarding yourself and doing all of this, the universe then rewards you and pays it in kind. Oh, awesome. No worries at all. This is multi-layered this is multi-dimensional you know the work that you have been doing is complex the work that you have been doing has been heard and has been seen the work that you have been doing is not just from this lifetime it is from past lifetimes it is from your parents and your grandparents and the um karmic debt that comes through our family lines like this is not just past life karma that you have actually done. This is past life karma that you have come to clear and move on and shift. This is why it's harder because it's like, I didn't do this. This isn't mine. Why is it mine to let go of? Because it is yours to let go of because you're the one that's strong enough. You're the one that is capable. You're the one that is here to think differently and break the cycle and make it different. Does that make sense? I love it. Like, for me, this is like, the Pandora's box is already open. There is no point trying to close it again. So, so much. Yeah, absolutely. Generational stuff. It is whoo, necessary cleansing. It's hard work. And this post-full moon vibe is really, really good because it's giving us the chance to keep digesting. I talked about this before. The two week period from the full moon is the time of where you're continuing to release, continuing to analyze, continuing to understand and digest the culmination, the full moon peak. You have two weeks just over to continue to release and let go and to utilize that energy of the waning moon before the new moon where you pick it up and start again. Does that make sense, everyone? So keep allowing yourself to feel things that came up during the full moon. Keep allowing yourself to um, do what you're doing. Absolutely. We're, like everyone that is here on the earth right now is here to clear something generational, period. Like period. <laughs> and if you're not aware of that, there is work to be done. There is work to be done because this is literally like what we're doing, right? It's the very, very beginning, the very, very dawning of the age of Aquarius. So it's the very beginning of the huge shifts into making ourselves, you know, more equal. <laughs> yes, hello kitty. He went by on a drive by one of my cats. Um, so past life crystals, lapis lazuli, lapis lazuli is one that is an option for past lives. Shtiktite serpentine or atlantisite is a wonderful one for past lives. Um, obsidian actually helps us to work with past lives. You can work with Stonehenge Bluestone if you have it. You can work with um, Numite, Issua Stone. Um, you could also work with Zircon. All of these really ancient old stones and energies. Um, I would also recommend like really looking at your family 
and the history and the past of your family and the fact that what you're dealing with and clearing has a lot to do with them. And it's not saying they're bad people. It's saying that's what they knew. They did what they could with what they knew. We now know better, so we can do better. Right? <coughs> All right. We're now rolling forward to Friday. I'm excited because of Friday is the spring equinox and the autumn equinox. And I will be down at Botanical Boutique doing crystal readings. All right. Oh, no. This is why Kyle can't have nice things. I have just broken a nail. <laughs> Typical. All right. Friday, our card for the equinox. <gasps> How good is this? <sighs> the fairies. Like... Come on. This makes me so happy. I love Faye. I love working with Faye. I love working with Faye energy, fairy energy. It is joyful. It is fun. It is environmental. It is magical. It is sparkly. It is silly. It is check yourself because I'm going to make jokes. It is such a wonderful, funny, brilliant thing. And I absolutely love this. The fey energy, fairy energy, environment, playtime, and enchantment. How good are those words? We live for those superlatives. Think about how you can bring more joy, more enchantment, more fun, more play. This week is not about logic. It's not. Like, it's just not. It's not about it. It's not this week. It's not what it's for. It's not a thing. Don't give it any mind. You have the ability to be intellectual and make the decisions that you need to make when you need to. However, this week is not a time for it. Faye is getting outside. It's working with crystals, flowers, oils, and nature. It is sunset and um, sunrise energy. Faye are very powerful sunset and sunrise. It's a... Um, just an enigmatic, powerful, amazing time to work with them. Definitely get your butt outside or get more plants inside. Get flowers inside. In WA, it is wildflower season and it is incredible. So there's no excuse to go out and see them. Thank you very much. But also think about how you can incorporate more fun. Think about as you've been learning the lessons you've been learning and dealing with what you've been dealing with. How can you now make life more joyful? make life more enjoyable, make life more fun. And it's up to you to do it. If you say, I'm always busy, I have no time, I'm stressed, then that's what you're going to get. And that's what you're going to receive. And that's what the universe is going to show you. But if you say, I'm worthy of fun and play and good, I'm worthy of relaxation and time for me, I don't have to always push and force. Sometimes I can just allow. Oh, I love tulips. I live for a tulip. We have, um, on my walk to my chiropractor, um, there is this house and every spring, um, they always plant tulips and I, I forget until the following spring because I've been walking on that route for a couple of years now. And on my walk to my chiropractor the other day, it was like, oh, the tulips are back and it made me so happy. I live for a tulip. Um, Yay, everyone wants it. I love it. I love it. Praise your light, definitely. Praise your light is a stone of nature. Chrysoprase is a stone of nature and fairies as well. I would recommend green apophyllite if you would love to get into that fey nature energy. I would also recommend working with morganite, aquamarine, heliodor together, and emerald if you can. A combination of the beryls bring fey energy in in a way that is just amazing if you can combine any of them that you have do it even if it's just aquamarine and emerald or morganite and emerald whatever it is and just ask them to help you to invoke that fey energy i have like all of the barrels together in a grid and i have a few fey guides that i work with and it's just get yourself out of your head Get yourself into what's happening around you in nature and just enjoy yourself. I love it. Because if you can see, she is a part of nature. Like, she's actually one with it, a part of it. She's not separate from it. 
and that's the fae. They are part of nature. They are not separate from it. They are the um, protectors and the um, energies that work with it. I love it. This is so good. So, so good. And again, not about using logic this week. Not about overthinking. Not about... It's just not even a thing. Not even a thing. You'll be able to think later. This week, do, feel, experience. Okay, our card for Saturday. Our final card for the week. Well, a couple of days too late, but we'll take it. It's the full moon. I love it. It's so good. Oh, yeah, moss agate and flower agate. Definitely, definitely, for sure. Tree agate as well. Fairy Friday. That's great for a day of readings at Botanical. It's going to be good fun. And then Saturday, full moon, completion and culmination. So the theme of the week, we're still completing and releasing and letting go. We're still finding that ending. We still have the two weeks post full moon to release, to let go and to find that peace and clarity that we need. So at the weekend, again, if you feel triggered, if something comes up, if you're feeling a bit exhausted, know that you're still letting go, that things are still being finished, but it is finished, right? It's okay to um, look at the door as it closes, but don't stop it from closing. Oh, beautiful. This is great. Which earring? Ah, oh. all of the earrings that I have are pendants. <laughs> that I have turned into earrings. None of them are actually, like, technically earrings. <laughs> so, Saturday, the full moon, we're being reminded that we are finishing, that we are letting go, that we are at that ending. Okay? So let yourself be um, okay with maybe not being okay. Let yourself be fine with feeling still a little bit up and down, and if you're still a little bit triggered... It's not unattainable goals. You just buy pendants and then put them on rings. <laughs> That's all. I've only got so much room on my chest for pendants, so. <laughs> ah, thank you very much. Um, so Saturday, um, complete, let go. Continue to let go. Continue to let yourself be a little bit whatever. Continue to let your feelings guide you and show you the way. Definitely work with... A continuing continuation of working with selenite, working with moonstone, working with all of that amazing energy. Um, a full moon ritual, simple full moon ritual, is you write down what it is that you need to release and let go of, what it is that you are completing. Have a little candle, and if you have maybe some selenite. Work with your selenite as well and just ask the universe to let go of what you need to let go of and then burn what you've written down. Make sure you've got a little fire safe dish to burn things in. Very helpful. Um, and yeah, just ask the universe to help you to let go of what it is that you need to let go of and bring forth what you need as you move forward and then use the next two weeks to continue to let go because up until the full moon, it's letting go, letting go, letting go and continuing to release as we go down the slope before we start fresh again. So don't feel um, frustrated if you get triggered. Don't feel um, let, like you've let yourself down. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm a fire sign. I'm all about burning and releasing. Some people like to like throw paper into water or bury it. If you work with earth energy, or if you work with water energy, totally use those as well. Because if you bury it in the earth and it's paper, it will disintegrate and degrade. If you put it in the water, again, the same thing. I just love the catharsis of burning things. <laughs> okay. Our overview card, our final card of the week, and our card that's going to give us an overview for the week is <sighs> Who doesn't love dragonfly energy? This is so good. This is so good. Um, this is transformation. This is rebirth. This is shifting forward and becoming more agile, more able, more capable. 
transformation, magic, and illusion. Really breaking through the illusion, being able to release and become capable and strong because the dragonfly can fly up, down, left, right, backwards, and forwards. You are capable and able of doing all of the things, right? This week is seeing us capable of doing all of the things and expressing ourselves, ourselves glitched out then, expressing ourselves in whichever way we need to and being able to deal with whatever comes our way, being able to transform in a really positive way. This is also for me rapid transformation, quick changes and things moving forward in a quick way. Dragonfly energy is um, only like motionless for very short periods of time. Otherwise, it's generally moving while it's alive. Um, so this is that idea of keeping moving and doing things as well. And it's like as long as you're doing a little bit of something, as long as you're doing little bits and pieces, as long as you're still focusing in the right way, things are moving forward in a really beautiful way for us all. This feels like... Um, there's some good rewards coming for us. There's some good, um, uh, like, it's almost like this feeling of things coming out of the blue, unexpected things coming out of the blue from people. Um, maybe unexpected phone calls, unexpected promotions, unexpected windfalls. Like, this feels very much about really positive, unexpected shifts this week for people. So keep your eyes out and your ears open um, for opportunities is the vibe that I'm getting from this for everyone as a collective card. Um, as far as dragonfly energy goes with crystals, um, I really get um, into the gut, combination of sort of gut and heart energy. So peridot would be a great idea. Um, serpentine would be great. Um, chrysoberyl, if you have any, um, those sorts of like bright greeny yellow crystals um, is definitely the vibe that we want. It's a very abundant, positive energy. Or if you don't have something like that, combine a green and a yellow crystal together or um, a gold and a green crystal together, like pyrite and jade or green aventurine and citrine, whatever you have handy. That combination of green and yellow is very evident right here and it's abundant and it's possible and it's movement and it's nimble and it's the things and it's manifestation and it's all good like this is so look at how bright yellow this card is like symbolically it's like yes it's good it's positive it's all sacral so this is a really amazing overview for the week we are adapting we are transforming we are moving forward in a really wonderful way um, yeah, definitely, if you can, uh, barite, I only have blue barite, but if you have barite, that is a brighter colour, for sure, um, so yeah, definitely work with dragonfly energy this week, think about the adaptability of dragonfly, the transformational aspects of dragonfly, um, keep your eyes out for them as well, um, I would also recommend... If you game, combining Moldavite and Libyan Desert Glass. If you game. <laughs> Heliodor and Emerald would be another really powerful combination in the yellow and green spectrum. I love it. This is great. It's all confirmation. It's all, yes, it's all, don't think about it too much. Just do the thing. Hashtag do the thing, everyone. Hashtag do the thing. It has always been hashtag do the thing. Uh, and now it's being reinforced. So don't forget to do the thing that you need to do. Express yourself, follow your path, tr trust your truth and allow yourself to really let this full moon let go, let the equinox. It's like a double peak energy, double peak energy. And it's so, so powerful to, um, really culminate and let go in big ways and really reinforce that. Oh, that's beautiful. We love that. Um, 
Yeah, Bumblebee and Jade would be a great combination for sure. For sure. Yellow Mica and Fo uh, Fuchsite Mica would be a great combination too. Um, so yeah, that's it. That's this week. We have the full moon. We have the equinox. We have the shift from Virgo into Libra. It is all happening. It is all good. It is all about following your spirit, letting your spirit and your intuition guide you as you express yourself, as you transform, as you release and let go. And you find that power within you, allowing yourself to be observant, allowing yourself to have fun, allowing yourself to enjoy yourself, bring more play into your routine. Um, yeah, absolutely. Moldavite and Citrine would work. As I said, anything yellow and green together, go with what you have at home, go with what you're connected to. Don't overthink it too much, please. And thank you. Um, that's it. That's me. That's me done. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've had a wonderful morning or whatever time of the day, night, wherever it is that you are in the world. Thank you so much for joining in. Always a pleasure and never a chore. Um, this Sunday, uh, sorry, this Friday, I am at Botanical H2O Boutique doing crystal readings. So if you missed out last night, maybe come down and see me there. I'll be taking bookings on the day. Um, and there are still tickets available. A couple of tickets left for my full day mini retreat workshop Monday week on the public holiday. So if you're in Perth and you want to come and have a full day experience of crystals and magic and all of the stuff that I love and talk about, come along. Tickets are through Crystal and Stone. Um, thank you all for joining in. Namaste, stay safe and stay sane. Peace out and so much love everyone. Take care of yourselves. Have an amazing, amazing week and see you all soon. Peace out. Bye.